Hi parents and welcome back to school. I'm Amy Henderson Seitz. I teach U.S. History, AP U.S. History, American Government, and AP Seminar here at Incline High School. Tonight I'm um, addressing all of my parents just to let you know some common features across my classes and some resources that the students will be using throughout the year. You can always contact me if you have questions at amhenderson at washoschools.net. First off, we are using Teams as our platform. It is both utilized in class, in person, and also on our distance learning days. So the students can go to their class, they can look on the general channel, and they can see all the posts for the class. Um, we also have access to uploading files for them, and we have a class notebook, which I'll explain in a moment, and also a place for us to push assignments out for them and for them to turn their assignments into us as well. So Teams is an invaluable resource for both the students and the teachers to stay connected both here on campus and also when we're practicing distance learning. The class notebook, which can be accessed through Teams and also through the OneNote app, is an invaluable resource for students collecting, maintaining their work and developing portfolios of their work. We would be familiar with these as like a paper binder that we would carry back and forth. Instead, this is a digital binder where the students can um, complete activities. I can provide them with feedback and they can store and warehouse all of their work for the semester. We have it organized into different sections, current events, a toolkit which has their syllabus and other ongoing um, procedures and manuals for the class, key vocabulary. Um, it is awesome and this is primarily where your student will be completing and uploading any work to. In addition, I utilize a um, historical database. I use the American History and I also use the American Government databases through ABC Clio. Okay? So each of them are set up by themes or time periods. You can navigate between them in government, we have been working across the principles of government so far, and then in American history, sorry, in American history, we have been looking at the um, impacts of manifest destiny on the closing of the American West. So really looking in this time period, US history is really focused on a post-Civil War curriculum. So the United States, um, since the Civil War. And we started with the closing of the American West, which is very near and dear to our hearts here. Whereas in government, we've started with those kind of core foundational principles of government itself. Every unit that the students complete comes with a um, core student activities menu where they can examine and see exactly what activities they are going to be participating in that are going to help them get to their unit learning target. So we begin every unit with an explanation of the essential question and the learning targets, and that is the same in both U.S. history and in American government. I look forward to working with your student this year. Um, as far as distance learning days, attendance purposes are concerned. The students can um, view the assignment. They can also access and give me an indication that they have viewed the assignment through a thumbs up uh, before 2.15 p.m. and then they'll have the rest of the evening to complete their assignments for me. If there are any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to me, amhenderson at washoschools.net and I look forward to a great year with your students.